Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. Another week on the Game of Thrones train. We are on episode eight of season two. I don't know the name of it because I did not look. Um, mm, I gotcha. The Prince of Winterfell. Oh, I did look at that actually. Mm. I wonder what that could mean. Um, I have no idea. So, last week's episode was episode seven, where we had a lot of things go down that were, it was a rather eventful episode. Uh, I'll quickly recap it and then Igly, I'll let you flush through your thoughts because it's probably been about a week or so since we recorded last. Maybe a yeah, week I've, and a half. I've had I've had some thoughts cooking. Okay, okay. Well, a quick recap: the thirteen became the two in Karth. It was pretty sick. We don't really know what's going on there, uh, but that storyline is definitely one of the more interesting ones in the show right now. Um, where we had obviously the magic guy and um. Zaro, Zoan, Doxos, or whatever his name is, uh, betray the other 11 of the council members to seize power for their own in the free city, greatest city that there ever was and will be. Elsewhere, north of the wall, we had uh, John being holding uh, Rose. Egret? Or is that her name in real life? Egret. <laughs> Egret uh, <laughs> hostage and then getting hit with that Uno reverse card getting taken prisoner on his own which was hilarious total total learning moment hopefully for him if he keeps his head we'll see and then we had uh, Theon killing Bran and Rickon right allegedly I, I, I don't but I don't believe it okay then we had Sansa getting her first blood, which was not what she wanted, and they tried to cover it up, but the Hound walked in because he's a weirdo. Um, and then something was going on with Arya. I can't remember exactly what the situation was uh, where we left off. I just know um, her Peter relationship with Tywins is really... Who was? Peter was there for a brief moment that was last episode i thought that was the that episode was, before i'm pretty sure that was last episode i think it was the episode before it was it yeah because i just okay. edited the episode i remember they were having the conversation at the table and um aria had like poured some wine and spilled it on his hand mm. he was like looking okay. at her but he didn't say anything okay there's definitely a conversation between her uh her and taiwan still though that's probably what i was mm -hmm. mixing yeah, I mean, up with that's basically every episode it's awesome yeah they're they're talking about uh female i uh, like Notable oh, female yeah. figures from the Targaryens. Mm -hmm. and or she just had, figures from Targaryen figures. She had the lore. And she was talking about uh, yeah. one lady in particular with a sword. I forgot the name of the sword. It had a really cool name. It was like Dark Sister. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, her name's slipping my mind too, but. Uh, Viser? Vis Vis Viserion? Viser? But I think that was Vis a dragon. Uh, okay. I don't so know. I, I, I have in my notes. Uh, Rainus and Viser Rainis and Visera, uh, yes. sisters of Aegon. Yes. Okay. Visera, Visera. Very that close to Viserys. Right. Just like I guess like the female, like the, the, the the like the female name version of the name, or feminine version of the name. Yeah, they do a Viserys. lot of that repeating names ish. Also, also like Rago and uh. Right, Ray, Reynos, Rain, Reynos, Rainis, Rainis. Okay, Visenya, Visenya. Okay, duh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I see. I can see how that looks like an N in my notes. Um, yeah, your yeah. handwriting's Duke. Yeah, you gotta write fast and decipher it later. <laughs> um, so to get to your thoughts really quickly, the last two bits that I remember are uh, Jamie. Broke out of prison by beating his cousin's skull in, and then one of the um oh man, their freaking house name slipping my mind right now. Car <laughs> Carhart or Car Stark? Car, Car Stark. Uh, one of the Car Stark boys caving his skull in, and uh yeah, that looks like that was it. His so, dad was not very happy about that. Mm -hmm. No, he wanted uh blood. And try right. to get it at the moment. Right. But oh, yeah. and then John. Uh, John is really risen up. Um, Tissaia. God. Are you name. mean Rob? 
You, you, you mean Rob? Talisa or Talisa? Talisa. What, what, who did I say? You, you, said you got two names wrong. <laughs> I said John? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I mean, you, you, yeah. You got the brothers so, mixed up. All right. But yeah, we, I'll, I'll take it from there. Uh, yeah, thank you ahead. for the for the recap. Oh, so of like, course. I, I, I got so let, let's start with let's start with Rob. Um, OK, I, I think I commented enough on uh, where da- uh, Danny's plot line is currently at in the last episode. So I, I don't really want to I don't have any additional comments there. But so but I do want to talk a bit more about Rob and how his character has started like um, yeah, like his character over the past few episodes. One like little one theme I'm really liking or I guess liking by I, I it, liking is not term I'm looking for, but I'm just using liking just for lack of a better term uh, for Rob is that he's he's very much still very young. You know, he's a kid like you could yep. still consider him a kid and he has a lot on his shoulders and we saw him like kind of having a crush on uh, the girl. Yeah. And like his mom kind of interrupts him. She she's what's going on, but she tells him like he has his duties, you know. And mm-hmm. um, Rob is very much bec- reaching a point of where he can no longer be his own person. He has to be a king, for like first and foremost. His actions like are not just affecting him; they're affecting literally the entire land. Um, and like he, like he has a he has a duty not only to himself. Oh, he, his duties are not like he ha- he's made promises uh to get as far as he did right now and he has to um he's he's he ex- he's expected to keep them you know yeah so it's it's a tough situation for him but like he 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 he, I, he he can no longer be his own person he has to be a king a figure for his people and um i mean that's that's extremely stressful i imagine and like i i I'm really interested to see like where that takes them if it reaches some sort of uh boiling point or how that goes, you know. Uh but it's it's very interesting. It's a motif I really like. Uh big word yeah. alert. Motif? Yeah. I like it. Okay. Okay. Picasso. Okay. A rag- <laughs> raggedy th- thesaurus up in here. <laughs> um but yeah. Uh Besides that, I do also want to talk a little bit about Rob. Not Rob. John. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm pull- sorry. Are you I'm confusing pull- names? <laughs> I'm pulling a blank right now. That's my fault. Um, but yeah, I think I commented earlier on in season one that I expect at some point, again, these are just me voicing my thoughts. You don't have to nod approve. You don't have to give me any sort of approval. Just listen, you know? Um, I fully expect at some point the wall that's guardian north to come down uh or at least john to return from uh the wall you know and in terms of how that happens i don't know but like in terms of some thoughts i got like let's talk about the theoretical situation if the wall falls how exactly it happens um i think there are two potential like things that could that could that could global warming <laughs> okay three potential things that could affect it but like two that are very much present the context for them to happen like aren't um there yet they wouldn't make sense for that like it doesn't make se- sense for it to happen yet but two potential threats to actually destroy the wall one being like the dragons but like of course they're still babies they can't do it anytime soon i don't know how fast they reach maturity but i imagine uh, a good bit the second being wildfire, like the 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 alchemical uh, uh, fire bombs that have been in production for who knows how long, but like bef- like back when the Targaryens were in control, you know. And I, I think it was mentioned, but I've I'm assuming the 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 wildfire um, was originally made as a replacement once all the dragons died out. Yeah, to still like as a as a weapon. Um, I'm assuming they still have like some major effect. It's, it's, it's as somehow it's as hot as dragon's breath. I don't know. Maybe I mean, not, but it, it can still get the job done with enough of it. You know? Yeah. You remember what they said about it? Like what it can do? It could burn like King's Landing down. Like, yeah. They, and they said, I think it can burn stone, stone, steel. Okay. And there was a, um, so, 
Like a saying that if you piss on wildfire, it'll burn your cock off. Okay, okay. So <laughs> very much like same effectiveness or a, a decent uh, enough effectiveness to bring down a wall that's made of uh, ice and stone, I'm presuming. I don't know fully. Um, because we've seen like H- H- Hammer Hall. Is that the name of the, the burnt down? Heron Hall. City? Heron Hall. Her- Heron Hall. Um, but yeah, the context of wildfire being used doesn't make sense. Like, uh, cause right now it's, it was previously under the, I let's say ownership of Cersei, um, and now under Tyrion's control, it doesn't make sense for it to be used on the wall, but if it repurposed, it could potentially bring it on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Um, the other thought that I find more compelling, um, regarding John's character is him breaking his oath. Uh, and I think him kind of being an enemy's ter- like the enemy territory right now, being like captured by the wildings, I think he's going to come to face to face with Mance Raider himself, and he's going to he's going to discover something. Um, and whether that leads him to, I don't want to say switch sides, but I th- I'm I'm picturing how the conflict between uh the night watch and the wildings in the north like in the in the north are is going to conclude i mean one option is, is just, they just kill each other uh but like the other option is like by some means they reach some form some form of peace and like be be like united um right now man's raider is in charge but part of me is wondering about the possibility of john becoming leader and uniting them that's a big ask. I don't know how that happens, but that's some thoughts I've been having. And then with it, like it, it, him eventually returning from the wall um, and doing some other shit, because I feel like he's, he's not... I'm wondering... The wall, the wall is basically just character development for John for some <laughs> later point in time. He's, he's eventually gonna, gonna leave that once he's changed and he's just a, a fucking a boss, you know? interesting Uh, analogy (laughs) but yeah like that's that's i mean uh, i I don't i mean that plus like they're also kind of they're very putting it like in our faces of uh uh him and egrid kind of having some love thing going granted it was kind of a bait um like by egrid egrid's her name right yeah yes uh it was a bait, most likely. Uh, but I don't know, man. I think I think he I think he's falling for her. probably why he didn't kill her. Uh, as a like other reason being that he's very chivalrous, or I guess I guess chivalrous is respectful the, the right term. Yeah, women and children are not to be killed. No matter the situation. But yeah, I don't I don't think uh, a final thing I want to touch upon. Um, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Bra- uh, Bran and Rickon are dead uh, because I. I don't think they would get. If we've seen babies, kind of uh, the the lead up to babies being killed, I don't think we'd get off screen on Bran and Rickon. Uh, that's too easy. What I think is likely is th- th- Bran and Rickon mentioned, or Rick Bran mentioned their children, like in that, like that, that house, whatever village, whatever that farm. I think uh, as punishment for like how aiding them, Theon just killed that man's kids. Is there anything else that you, any other theories you've theory, maybe any dreams you've had? Uh, I've had some weird dreams lately. Okay. I mean, uh, Game uh, of Thrones related? None Game of Thrones related. Oh, okay. No. So if you enjoy this reaction, no, I'm kidding. Unless. If you enjoy this reaction, like if you enjoy this reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any and all of our uploads, including Game of Thrones next week. But if you want to wait for next week's episode, we have up to four weeks early access available on our Patreon right now. Check out that link in the description below. Check out the tiers. There's a two week and a four week access option down there. Check that out. There's also links to our discords, our social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that in the description below. Be sure to hit those links and then let's get into this reaction. Let's do it. Let's go. Crows, okay. Symbolic. Oh, are those like the messenger crows? 
Ja. Ja. Reinforcements are here. Is Daddy gonna be proud? Why is the Prince of Winterfell? Okay, episode drop. Envy. I took the great castle of Winterfell with twenty men. You're a great warrior. They're gonna make songs about that shit. Bodies above your gates. Which one gave you the tougher fight, the cripple or the six-year-old? Hmm. Are you the dumbest cunt alive? <laughs> Call me God a cunt. damn. A dumb cunt who killed the only two Starks in Winterfell. I don't believe they're dead. You know they're not going to trick me. Boys were. If I hadn't killed them, the Northerners would think me weak. You are weak. How am I supposed to defend Winterfell with just this lot? You're not. I've come to bring you home. Father wants a word. Okay. Is this a joke? Our power comes from our ships. And now that you've decorated your walls with the bodies of the Stark boys, every man in the North wants to see you hanged. They can't defend it. When Rob Stark finds out... He won't find out. You're a terrible baby, do you know that? Okay. <laughs> Bawling all the time, never sleeping. Babies do that. And one night you just wouldn't shut up. Screaming like a dying pig. I walked over to your crib, I looked down at you. I wanted to strangle you. Okay. And you looked up at me and you stopped screaming. You smiled at me. Don't die so far from the sea. Is that compassion? Is that some, love? Some form of it. Hmm. Speaking of so far from the sea. I mean, technically they're on it. Or like... you a present, Lord of Bones. Lord of Bones? Oh my oh, god. And he's just kidded out. Mance will want to question this Looking way. like us in Sons of the Forest. <laughs> Got him. He okay. Me half a dozen times. Is she gonna save him? Got him. But he's a bastard <laughs> of Winterfell, Ned Stark's son. Does that name hold weight? Mance will want him. What does Mance want with a dead man's bastard? Don't know. Okay, he where travels far? Another prisoner? You know this one. Is that half hand? Sword in the neck, I just I know. Oh, that's that is half hand. When you didn't come back, we weren't looking for you. Oh no. You tracks fast enough. But they found us before we found you. They died because of me. Oh my god. Wait. See that it wasn't for nothing. Everyone? Or just the other small party? What do you think? I don't know. Is she beautiful? Mm. They can't keep killing people off screen. I've never met her. When I speak to people from the north, they all loved your father. He was the best man I ever met. I know children always think that about their fathers, but he truly... Children do not always think that about their fathers, believe me. Take the on, for example. He once told me that being a lord is like being a father, except you have thousands of children, and you worry about all of them. Hmm. Farmers plowing fields are yours to protect. I asked him, how can a man be brave if he's afraid? And that is the only time a man can be brave, he told me. Yeah, that's what brave means. <laughs> you think I'm fighting this war so they'll sing songs about me? I want to go home. I want the men following Until he me finds out about home. home. And why don't you? Because we'll never be safe until the Lannisters are defeated. And because I believe in justice. Chopping off Joffrey's head, you mean? That would be a start. Th that's justice, yeah. The people would love that shit. Yeah, for real. The Kingslayer. He escaped in the night. Okay. How? 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 Tell me this isn't true. Did she let him go? Why? For the girls. You betrayed me. Rob. No! You knew I would not allow it, and you did it anyway. She Bran got baited. and Rickon are captives in Winterfell. I lost one son, fighting by your son's side. I lost another to the Kingslayer, strangled with a chain. That was you not the move. Treason, because your children are prisoners. Killing Jaime Lannister would not buy life for your children. But returning him to King's Landing may buy life for mine. That... Jaime Lannister... Hmm plays you for a fool. You've weakened our position. You brought discord into our camp. 
He's not wrong. And you did it all behind my back. Make sure she's guarded day and night. Rob. Wow. How many men did we send in pursuit of the Kingslayer? Forty, your grace. Send another forty. <laughs> With our fastest Double horses. it up. Rob. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. She brought him out of here. What's your name? It's a long way to King's Landing. Might as well get to know one another. It's a chatty one. Have you known many men? <laughs> I suppose not. That's how he manipulates Women? people. Horses? She's not having it, though. I didn't mean to give offense, my lady. Forgive me. Has anyone ever told you you're as boring as you are ugly? You will wow. You me to anger. I already have. Look at you. What a troll. They're ready to chop my head off. Yeah. Do you think you could beat me in a fair fight? I've never seen you fight. The answer is no. There are three men in the kingdoms who might have a chance against me. You're not one of them. Mm, all my okay. life, men like you have sneered at me. And all my life, I've been knocking men like you into the dust. If you're so confident, unlucky. Don't get baited by this. Do you take me for an idiot? You're afraid. Maybe one day we'll find out, King Slayer. Honestly, hit him with the paddle, knock it, lock, it, knock him out for the ride. <laughs> King's Landing will fall an hour after Stannis lands his force. It's not too late for King Joffrey and Cersei and the court to ride west to safety. Mm. Surrender the Iron Throne. Better than seeing their heads mounted on the city gates. He's a Lannister. He'll stand and fight. He's like twelve. Stannis, <laughs> two days from the capital. And a wolf at my doorstep. It's the Greyjoys have done us a great favor. Stark won't risk marching on Casterly Rock until he's at full force. He's a boy and he's never lost a battle. He'll risk anything. So they got word of uh, Winterfell. Interesting. Because he doesn't know enough to be afraid. We'll ride at nightfall. I want a full night's march before he knows we're on the move. Is this your chance to get out? The Tywin gone? Where's your stick now, bitch? I promise to fuck you with it. Come on! Okay, weird. You really remembered that. And the secret is, you dry the stones, and you break them with a mallet. That's where the real flavor is. Horseshoes, okay. Fine. And then when you're finished, sprinkle them over the pie crust. I'm listening to Hot Fire and I'm getting that recipe. Yeah, that pie I recipe. Now. I saw him. What? You better where? answer. <laughs> They're rushing out the gates a few hours ago. Okay. Control. My ears. Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with him anyway? What's she about to do? Hmm. Was she was she gonna use her third genie wish on Tywin? Man's just gonna march on the wall. Perhaps. Oh One brother inside his army be worth a thousand fighting against him. They'll never trust me. They might. How does it feel knowing those men all died? So you could skip through the snow with your little savage girl. I did I should have known better. Trusting a traitor bastard! Oh my god. Took a tumble. Yeah. Yours to kill. So look. Like the way she's carrying his sword. <laughs> she's keeping us safe to give back to him. Do you have to do that here? What's, it, what's he doing? Keep hands clean. Oh, he's just yes, cleaning his nails. Do it here. You should start wearing the gold cloak. I don't want to wear a gold cloak. You're commander of the city <laughs> watch. You shouldn't be dressed like a common sales. Cloak so slows you down in a fight. Makes it mm, hard to no move cloaks. quietly. What? 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 Why are you staring at me? You don't want me cleaning my nails? You don't want me looking your way? Why am I here? To help me plan the defense of King's Landing. <laughs> Stannis will be here any day. And one of these explains how to beat him. <laughs> yeah, just and yeah, as answer. The seizures of Westeros by Archmaster Sh Shevelethen. The Shevelethen. Shevelethen. <laughs> oh. He's educated. Did you know there has been a marked drop in thievery? Hmm. Crime rate going know. down? Me and the lads rounded up all the known thieves. Okay. For questioning? Uh, For no. killing? See, it's not the fighting that kills most people. It's the starving. Food's worth more than gold. People Noble turning on each other. Diamonds for a sack of potatoes. The great sieges of Westeros. Thrilling subject. 
Shame Archmaester Shavayothan wasn't a better writer. <laughs> Mudgate. That's a good name for a gate. Down in minutes, and it's only 50 yards from the water. And if Stannis does attack the Mudgate, what is our plan? We could throw books at his men. Prince, we don't have that many Prince books. Joffrey. We don't have that many men either. What do we have? Pig shit. Hmm. The same that was on Joffrey's face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the boys are still fine. I'm not cut out for this sort of work. Where do you think John is right now? He went off for the <laughs> half hand. He didn't come back. A betting man would go with dead. He's not dead. He's got his Valyrian steel sword. So did his father. And Corin half has okay, the wow. stranger alive. Great rangers never cool. get old is the problem. What are they what fine? Seven old is that? Treasure. What is that like a room? The first men made these marks. Oh. oh. Help me with it. Must be dragon glass. Dragon glass. Oh. The most is called obsidian. obsidian? Mm. Have you seen this before? I a idea. No, I just know what Obsidian looks like. To find it. Minecraft. I was gonna say Ark. Damn. Oh. Oh, that's a slap. Alright, buddy, you're getting a wish after that. <laughs> I mean, if Tywin's not here. Where were you? Well, welcome back. Tywin Lannister is right here, and now he's gone. Kiss him down. He's taking his army to attack my brother. I need him dead right now. This a man cannot do. You're really asking a lot here. There must be others. Give a name, any name. And you kill them. Anybody. By the seven new gods and the old gods beyond counting, I swear it. Jack and Hagar. What? <laughs> Hagar gives a man his own name. That's right. God's Don't try this, man. He'll kill himself. This is no joking thing. <laughs> I'm not joking. Man can go kill himself. <laughs> no. Please. Uh, please. <laughs> I'll name you. Thank you. If you help me and my friends escape. Okay. That is not a death. Require more than one life. This is not part of our bargain. Fine. Jack and Hagar. Wow. Hagar Holding by the far. balls. <laughs> Hagar and her friends will walk through the gate at midnight. Okay. Thank you, Podrick. Odd little boy. I have a certain sympathy for odd little boys. You and Varys both? Deja vu, man. Okay, wow. Excellent lamprey pie. I hear Joffrey plans on fighting. An inspiration for oh, the Oh, please let him fight. A young king in his shining armor, fighting to defend the capital against the wicked old rebel. He's only a boy. He's not ready. What is he? Seventeen? Remember Seventeen. Seventeen. Better than you. His place is not on the battlefield. It's not on the throne either. Sadly for all of us. <laughs> wow, is he smirking? Do you think I'm an idiot? No, I'd say you possess yeah. above average intelligence. You've shipped off my only daughter, and now you want to send my eldest son to the battlefield to die. He'll have his king's guard protecting him. Do you know why Varys is so dangerous? Because he knows everything we do before we do it. Because he doesn't have a cock. Okay. Neither do you. Perhaps I'm dangerous too. That little worm between your legs does half your thinking. It's not that little. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smiling? Because I'm happy. Why are you happy? Because I have your little whore. Oh no. I thought you preferred blondes. Such a drama. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me, have you married this one yet? Pretty thing, your whore. Lovely body. The bruises will heal in time. Wow. Where did you find her? Varys isn't the only one who hears whispers. Really, a Lannister lion necklace. Okay. <laughs> what is this? She can't catch her break, man. <laughs> she should have stayed in Winterfell. I'm sorry they hurt you. 
You must be brave. <laughs> I promise I will free you. Oh, you gotta be act better than that. Don't forget me. Never. <laughs> okay. How lucky is that? I will hurt you for this. Shit. The day will come when you think you're safe and happy and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. God damn. And you will know the debt is paid. Get out. Shame. Oh my god. He was okay, so this wasn't part of the plan. You're beautiful. Oh. That's cute. There are people who want to hurt me. I know. I won't let them. I cut off their faces. I will. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. I would kill for you. Do you know that? You're mine. I'm yours. <laughs> Promise me. I'm yours, and you're mine. God, she didn't finish damn. the line. There's so many char characters in the show I want to be happy by the end of this, but... No word. Send word to your son. Any ironborn who surrender will be allowed to return safely to their homes. A touch of mercy is a virtue, your grace. Too much? Any ironborn with the exception of Theon Greyjoy. Okay! He betrayed our cause. He betrayed me. How did you go from reciting Valerian poetry to sawing off men's feet? When I was 12, my mother and father went to a wedding. Weddings in Volantis last for days, you know. And they left me with my little brother. The second afternoon they were gone was the hottest day in the three-year summer. We couldn't bear to be inside, so we ran down to the Vroin. I was treading water, talking to a friend. When I realized I hadn't seen my brother, I called his name. Are you drunk? And then I started screaming his name. And then I saw him floating face down. Yeah. I dragged him from the water. My friend helped me, I think. I don't even remember. And I screamed at him. And I shook him. And he was dead. A man ran over. He had a fish tattoo on his face. In Volantis, the slaves have tattoos, so you know what they are without having to talk to them. Hmm. And this man worked on a fishing boat. And he pushed me out of the way. You have to understand, for a slave to push a highborn girl, that's death for the man, a terrible death. But he pushed me out of the way. Do CPR? And he started pressing on my brother's chest again and again. And again, until my brother spat out half of the roid <laughs> and cried out, and the man cradled his head and told him to be calm. And she got inspired by that? I decided two things that day. I would not waste my years planning dances and masquerades with the other noble ladies. And when I came of age, I would never live in a slave city again. I'm sorry, Your Grace. You told me of your problems, and I blathered I on. I don't want to marry the Frey girl. <laughs> I don't want you to marry her. But you needed that bridge. I hope it's a very beautiful bridge. <laughs> uh, I guess he's not married yet. We'll cross sure. that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> I, <hate you. laughs> I, I feel like she's way too of a nice person for this world. But again, I hope nothing bad happens to her. Can you imagine living in this day and age where you got to spend 15 years undoing Lacing every knot? <laughs> <laughs> it makes it makes the moment more tense because you're like, like I guess it's, it's like it builds it up, you know. Oh, they're having fun. Yeah. It'd be really awkward. Really, if, I like, thought they uh, hated their lives right now. <laughs> it would be awkward if a, a raven just came through and interrupted. <laughs> a good way to take their minds off of everything. Yeah, Rob, I mean, they both need it. It's a little distraction from reality. Sour cherries is all crushed up and ready. Shut up. Probably in the pie crust by now. In the oven. The nice. You want pie that bad? Shut up. 
cheese could be better. <laughs> get some nice sausages. <laughs> okay, nice. He didn't say. He just said walk through the gates. What about the guards? He didn't say anything <laughs> about the guards. <laughs> just walk through <laughs> the gate. We have to trust him. Trust him? You trusted him to fight with us and you set him free and he ran. I want to go back to the kitchens. Shut He's up. about to bust out the magic and afraid. kill them all at once. Are they? Oh, they're. Oh, <laughs> you didn't notice it those, first, huh? <laughs> those 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 feet ain't touching the ground. How how did he do this? He's Jack and Hagar. A man he's, works in mysterious he's... ways. <laughs> Some high-born fools call you Onion Knight and think they insult you. Onion Knight. So you take the onion for your sigil. Well, someone wishes me to change it. Three <laughs> mermen with tridents, something like that. I understand. I don't know. The onion goes hard. Look down at me. Robert and Ned Stark, they were the heroes, the glorious rebels. Marching mm. from battle to battle, liberating towns from the yoke of the Mad King while I held Storm's End with 500 men. No one has forgotten your grace. No, Robert did. He they didn't Storm's get the End glory. Rindley after the war, Renly never fought a day in his life. He was only a boy. So why'd he give him Storm's End? First we ate the horses, then the cats. Never liked cats, so fine. It's just like Blake. I do like dogs. <laughs> Good animals, loyal. He's so just like me them. for real. Then the rats. Wow. The night before you slipped through, I thought you my want a wife son? was dying. She couldn't speak anymore, she was so yeah. frail. And then you made it through the lines. Slipped right through in your little black sail boat with your onions. And potatoes. Some salt and beef, I believe. That's pretty good. Storms in wanted to kiss you mm, that night. Good meal. <laughs> they did not. Robert told me to hold Storms in, so I held it. Then he told me he was giving it to Renly. So I gave it up. Because Robert was my older brother and he was the king and I've always done my duty. But now I'm the rightful king by every law of Westeros. And when I sit the Iron Throne, you'll be my hand. Ooh. Mm. Your grace. Big promise. I expect you'd be the first crabber's son to wear the badge. <laughs> what a journey. Like, Stannis outside of, like, the Red Lady, he's actually pretty sick. <laughs> If my uncle Stannis lands on the shores of King's Landing, I'll ride out to greet uncle. him. Uncle, huh? Choice, <laughs> They say Stannis never smiles. I'll give him a red smile oh. from ear to ear. Wow. What a line. <laughs> is that the best you could come with? Stannis is terror. <laughs> I am trying. I wish we could converse as two honest, intelligent men. I wish we could too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Tell me. <laughs> if we're going to play, you'll have to start. Mm. When I reached manhood, my father put me in charge of all the drains and cisterns in Casterly Rock. A most high-born plumber. The water never flowed better. <laughs> and all the shit found its way to the sea. I mean, that's an important job. You're expected to have yeah. the real power. If Stannis breaches the gates, the game is over. They say he burns his enemies alive to honor the Lord of Light. The Lord of Light wants his enemies burnt. The drowned god wants them drowned. <laughs> Why are all the gods such vicious cunts? <laughs> Where is the god of tits and wine? He's, he's spin. <laughs> they spin. Yeah. A fertility goddess with 16 teats. We should sail there That's a lot of teats. This morning, I heard a song. All the way from Karth, beyond the Red Waste. Mm. Daenerys Targaryen lives. The girl at the edge of the world is the least of our problems. She has three dragons. But even if what they say is true, it'll be years before they are fully grown. How many? And then there'll be nowhere to hide. One game at a time, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it's for season five. You know, that track is transitioning when it's hitting. I found one. A ship with a good captain. She leaves for Astapor tomorrow. Astapor. We cannot stay here. They have my dragons. She's not leaving without the dragons. Without her children. They're not your children. I know they call you the mother of dragons. And I know you love them, but you didn't grow them in your womb. They didn't suckle at your breast. They are dragons, Khaleesi. And if we stay in Karth, we'll die. You should sail to Astapor. I'm sure you'll be safe there. Doesn't know what it's like you to be a mother. I die for you. Mm-hmm. 
I will never abandon you. If my dragons are in the house of the Undying, then take me there. That's what the Warlock wants. This magic is strong. And what of my magic? You saw me step into the fire. You watched the witch burn. What did the flames do to me? Do you remember? Until my last breath, I will remember. After I have forgotten my mother's face. They are my children. And they are the only children I will ever have. Can't leave the dragons. Take me to them. Too important. Day two of the bodies. What's this? Gold. For the farmer. For his trouble. His troubles are done. He's feeding the crops mm. now. His wife too. Hmm. Who's that? If you want to keep a man silent, you silence him. He's 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 putting it together. Something's not right about those bodies. Got as far as the farm, and then doubled back. Walked through the stream to throw off the hounds. I thought this would be the last place they'd think to look. You're right. So far. Who was that out there? Home for the gates. I knew it. You can't <laughs> trick me. Must have been the farmer's boys. I'm so smart. <laughs> yeah, that's not a hard read. And pass them off as little lots. Honestly, bitch move. Bran would blame himself. They'll never hear it from me. Mm. Yeah. So they don't the know. The lads have suffered enough. I heard all of that. That is tough. Wow, that's that's tough. That's tough. Dude. The boy, the, the kids you sent to give him a better life were killed in your stead to hide you. That's... That's that's fucking intense. When I tell you in the intro, mm -hmm. I tight roped so hard. Well, <laughs> because well, I, I talking? legitimately I was talking, and as I'm like going th recapping that part in my head, I go, "Wait a minute, wait a minute." And so I went with, and Brandon and Rickon are dead, and in my head I'm like, "I swear to God, if." One of you two doesn't say, oh, but at the end of the episode, we saw them alive, right? And then you guys didn't. I'm like, oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> because I was so close to <laughs> just totally spoiling that. I'm not even going to lie. Maybe I should just give the recap so you don't actually I, like, I let think so. Because okay. that, was, that was almost rough. <laughs> I am so glad that I... <laughs> audible at the last possible moment i know for myself and i'm gonna assume the same for you blake we thought the same as igly like there's mm -hmm. no way that's brandon rickon's body yeah did you think that initially when you saw this episode or i guess the previous episode the end of it to be honest i don't remember okay. i can i can tell you though that in my head i would have been like there's no way they kill those characters off screen yeah, off screen, and also like not like Asha and um, Todor weren't even addressed either. So it's not it's not a hard read, a right. but genuinely, if like if they didn't show it at the end of this episode, going into like the discussion for next episode, I might have been like started doubting myself a little bit. But, like, uh, like there's no way they they die that easily. But it just also makes a lot of sense too, because like Theon is such a dweeb. Yeah, like Theon would murder two innocent children. Right. <laughs> Just a oh my god. And so like, you're sitting there afterwards, you're give like the farmer hmm. some gold for his troubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. like okay, when he said that, like, okay. And then uh you have uh the Magister is uh, I forget his name, but his title is Magister, right? Maester Lewin. Maester, Maester, Maester Lu uh, like kind of approaching the bodies. Um yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised like he didn't tell his sister, like, oh, they're not actually dead. Like once he was getting roasted for killing the ho the the bartering hostages, uh, he probably just didn't want to seem soft to his other men. Right. I mean, he has his right hand man. I forgot his name, but he's like always over his shoulder judging him. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, but they're hiding under in plain sight. They're like just hiding underneath, like in the the catacombs underneath, like where the the crypt. 
yeah the crypt where like uh, the rest of the family mm-hmm. is buried which honestly pretty f- <sighs> scary but I'm, I'm sure he's gonna have some wild dreams in there oh no doubt but yeah wow but that's, that's a pretty good like way to end the episode though um yeah so this episode was pretty cool uh we got like a lot of stuff addressed kind of got yes to no there's a lot of it's like it's everything's building up to like the these final two episodes for the season uh it was a lot of setup let's talk about cat so like i can understand her her children being her weakness but how how do you let yourself be manipulated by jamie like that i mean I think the simplest way to describe it is like she thinks she's in charge. You, th- I did not. That line of thought didn't cross me. Um, I just t- am taking that as like a moment of weakness. Jamie was in her ear for too long and got his way. Yeah. I mean, we already had Littlefinger uh, propose the same thing to her about getting the daughter's back so she's been hurting about it for a long time Mm -hmm. i guess she finally cracked you know like this might be the only opportunity i get to get them out alive she cares more about her children than like the war and the greater good to her personally her children are the greater good yeah and it it, it is like stepping on rob's toes like immensely and like it causing tension with a lot of other of the better men. It's but just such a stupid move. It, like, it's some shit. It's some shit Cersei would do. It is. Honestly, <laughs> is actually, honestly though, <laughs> I don't even think Cersei's that dumb to do that. If I mean, I'm just she keeping wanted, it real. It's completely emotionally driven. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, your brain is telling you one thing, just ignore it, you know, doing what is best to make her feel better. The, th- the thing like Cer- Cersei was trying to do like a mutual her ideal goal like so the, the ideal scenario like episodes back with Cersei would be like a mutual handoff Ned for Jamie. But this is a complete like you're letting this man like this is not a mutual trade-off. Like you're letting this man go with the with the promise from a man a backstabber um in many ways uh to deli- like to release the uh, the kids uh one of which they they don't even fucking have, they don't have so um yeah i mean i i i fully support getting salts out of there before terrible shit happens to her but like i don't know like it, not not the best move jamie is J- jamie's life as a target is worth more than sansa I'm sorry, but like it's it's just her. her the, it's just it's all it's all emotional. A mother cares for her kids. Um, it kind of parallels Cersei a lot though, because like of um, regard like re- like when she was talking about like her kids being like the most important thing to her, you know. But yeah, um, the rest of the episode. What else we got? Brief uh, Daenerys. How about we talk briefly about Daenerys? A uh, very emotionally emotional scene between Jorah and Daenerys. Um, D- J- Jorah like suggesting that they leave, but y- you you can't leave the dragons behind. You like if anything is gonna give uh, Daenerys power in the future, it's those dragons. You know, like it's yeah. gonna be it's yep. gonna be her biding her time before she can just wreak havoc uh and make her path to the throne it's just now very sh- like tough situation she has to find her way through um but yeah i don't know how they deal with the magic man honestly karth is just wild the fact that they have like <laughs> they have like a guy with smokes and mirrors and can duplicate himself to pull off a um an 11 man Stabbing, eleven eleven men stabbing. Mm. Um, I 
I need to ex- exp- I mean, we've seen supernatural stuff, so it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, I I I don't want to be in Karth longer longer than we have to. Uh, I I genuinely I, I think I, I I hate Karth. <laughs> there, but it's the greatest uh, city that ever was or will be, there, bro. There there is there is nothing redeemable so far about Karth except that it kind of looks pretty. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh like, but yeah, they, they got to get out there quick. Um. I don't, I don't know how they do it. Uh, but we got we got a little update with her. But I don't see where I don't have any predictions on how it's gonna go. Uh, I know like end result. I think she's gonna get the dragons out. I just don't know how Jora, Jora, and what remaining men she had like like followers she has still alive. Which I do, I don't know. Like I think it's like a handful at this point. But I don't know how she's gonna make that work. But we'll be interesting to see. Um. Yeah, like besides that, we had like some really good moments. We had some really like sentimental moments with a lot of characters, like even Theon and his sister. Which we got to see a little bit of another side of it. Uh, his sister Yara. It was is that her name? I guess Yara. 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 Um. But like, I don't know where they. I don't know where they go with that. Uh. But that's it's interesting that she's not just like shit talking him. Um, but I don't know. I I still I. She still kind of shit talked him, but like she showed some ounce of care, or at least or at least presumably so, for his life, and not just staying, uh, yeah. dying to try and take, um. Like uh, a city they can't re- like a, a useless hold. yeah, yeah. I mean, like if that her saying that, but like what was the what was the plan, just to kill. Just to raid and like that, boom, you're okay. Raiding's done. Let's go back home. He was never supposed to go to Winterfell. Okay, but like they're, 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 they're just raiding the north. What is the end goal? They're, they're raiding cities along the north. Yeah, they're trying to move yeah, further but, inland because, like she said, their power comes from ships and they're yeah. still hundreds of miles away. So they, you know, if Rob and his forces come back to Winterfell, there's just no way they can defend it yeah so like it's okay so like it's they have to they have to move inland first before they can reasonably hold it mm-hmm. that's pretty much the scenario it, it's like it's it's like if you're not like a strategy game you just have like one city like in your surrounded anime territory yeah, you gotta you gotta make your path uh along the tiles or the hexagons yeah. whatever the sectors look like yeah or else you're just gonna be you're just gonna be surrounded at the end and die so she's smart enough to realize that theon will die for his pride that he's chasing before doing that. Um, so, and we also had, like, regarding Theon, we had just, like, the, basically, declaration of death from Rob saying, all Greyjoys can live who, sur- like, who run away uh, or surrender except Theon. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, because the, fo- the focus for Rob is still down south, but, like, if Theon's going to die, I want Rob to be there, you know, since like the the whole element of them being uh, brothers uh, is there, and it's like I, I don't know, I I gotta see them have like some confrontation. Um, but yeah, we got some updates on the North. Uh, I mean. The boy, the Night Watch boys, found some obsidian uh, arrows, da- daggers. I don't know. I don't know how much that's going to benefit them, like, or what more they're going to find. But they found like some, like a, ca- a supply cache, like, um, from like the first men that were the the Night's like Watch were using because there was also Night's nice Watch gear in there too. They said the horn. But also, like, I, I don't know. I don't, the, the obsidian is sharp, but it's also very fragile. It'll just break apart. So it's like, I don't know what they're going to do with the weapon weapons. Um, And then, like, there's no real major update with, like, John except that, and, like, uh, Half Hand, except I guess we got to update on Half Hand. Like, the other men were killed, but Half Hand's being taken as a, uh, for information, as a, as a captive. Uh, and John is just uh, 
graciously being left alive because Egret vouched for him, kind of. Um, so they're just kind of traveling. Uh, probably by I'm, a, I'm expecting by the end of the season they're gonna make it to Mans Raider and see uh, the grand reveal. But yeah, besides that, I think the smaller stuff, um, very big moments between like, like a lot, a lot of character development this episode. Um, Arya gets out with uh, the boys, and then uh, Theon, not Theon, um, Tyrion is making plans for the incoming siege from Stannis, and also playing footsies with uh, Cersei while doing so about him trying to have Joffrey be killed in battle to, I don't know, make a play for the throne? I mean, I guess, yeah. If Joffrey's dead, the other kid, uh, her other son is t- too young. I guess it would fall to Tyrion to be king. Jamie's no. not in play. No? That's not how it worked. I mean, uh, it can work if that's what he wants. If- the whole realm thinks Joffrey's of a- Baratheon. Yeah. So if Joffrey's dead to the next Joff- Baratheon heir. The, the way I assume it would happen if the king were to die, uh Blake is correct, but in the meantime, until like you know the new king shows up, Tyrion would kind of uh fulfill the king's duties as the hand of the king. Uh no. I'll, 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 no. Uh, n- it's none Queen of that regent. Ma- Oh well, never mind. None of that matters. And none of that, it only matters who's left alive and who's sitting in the throne, who has the power. The blood that's all that matters. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I Okay, so let's just say she's getting Joffrey out the way from fucking up more shit <laughs> and just keeping I don't know. I don't, I don't want Sir, I don't want Cersei on the throne either. Or I guess, because uh, it, it wouldn't be Sansa. No. No. Because they're not even officially married. If Joffrey and Sansa got married and Sansa had a kid, then it'd be Sansa. Because she'd be okay. queen regent until her son comes of age. Obviously, mm-hmm. the hand of the king would be very intricate in raising them, but that's how it would work. Don't want Cersei on the throne either. Uh, but yeah, uh, is. It was pretty interesting to see Stannis uh, in a different light this episode as well, as not just being kind of manipulated, uh, but like the the war stories he was taught, like he was uh, reflecting on with um, Sir Davos about how they held Storm's End and like never got recognized or rewarded any glory from it. He was salty. Uh, he's just, <laughs> yeah, that man's been holding that in for a while. So it's it's cool because like Blake was hyping this man up too, um, and like I just didn't really see him as anything other than like <sighs> some whipped dude. I was I was literally uh, my response when you were gonna pause is I was gonna say he's sick he's just whipped. Yeah, <laughs> pretty hard, bro. He wants a son. I uh, mean, there there's elements about him I still can't respect, uh, but yeah. Oh, you mean the whole cheating on his wife thing? Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Understandable. Also, the huge, like, thing, like, like the <laughs> Ross just kind of being shitted on continuously. <laughs> um, that, that was pretty funny, because huh? they had me going. I thought, at first, I thought, like, um, Varys sold her, uh, like, basically sold uh, Tyrion out. Since they had like their initial like kind of deal, backroom deal going on. Then it turns out to be Ross. Now it's like, okay, is this part of the plan? Is this part of like, the deal? And then it turns out it'd just be completely coincidence. And uh, he was genuinely worried that Cersei got S- Shay. But yeah, very cu- a, lot, a lot of cute couple moments this episode. Hopefully nothing bad happens. But besides that, I don't think there's anything else to ta- talk on. I think, I think I've gone all on long enough. Okay. I had a little actually final f- question. You got something? <laughs> okay. Go first. Uh the, the the final the final thought uh that was kind of delivered um th- throughout this episode multiple times is that not having a cock makes you dangerous. 
So something to reflect on. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to say, Corey? I was going to ask, um, in the scene with Jamie and Brienne, when he said there may be three men that could take him in a fight, I know two of them would be Barristan and Selmy and Sir Loris. Who's the third one? Um, I don't know. You asking him or me? Either of you. I don't, I don't think know. he'd consider Loris. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Loris is a is a jouster. Well, Bears can sell me is one. And okay, so if Igly doesn't know of the other two, then we could just, you know, forget it. But if he does, then I guess I if mean, you ter- know. in terms of like notable f- uh fighters or warriors, I mean like uh you have the mountain, but he got bested by the hound, kind of. Uh he's still kind of a beast but like i don't know how like and i also don't know how good of a swordsman stannis is as opposed to just being a good leader so i I don't know uh what remaining like notable swordsman there'd be actually my boy serio would whip jamie well god rest his soul because he might be dead I'm pretty sure. I uh, hope he's in the dungeon. I hope he's in the dungeon. Don't don't, don't say anything. I, I hope he's in the dungeon. I was just going to ask Blake a question because I don't even know. Okay. What? what? I guess oh. just to be safe, Igly, mute your chat volume. Done. Okay, he's muted. Just at me. Well, I know... Um, Oberyn. Oh, oh, well, no, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say... um. It's about Sirio because Igly doesn't know if he's dead or not. I'm pretty sure he got killed along with oh, um, yeah, he's dead. the Septa. Yeah, and he's they, dead. they did they show his head on the spike? No, I don't I can't remember, but I just know he's dead. So like but they didn't show it on screen? I, don't I was think pretty so, sure no. he was. Okay, well Igly doesn't know. So I'm, do we... I'm never gonna tell him. Okay. Um But the one that I didn't want to name is Oberyn. Because we haven't met Oberyn yet. Okay. But I would say it's probably Oberyn. Probably the Hound. And then Barristan Selmy. Okay. Because I mean Loras got. Dropped by Brienne. So I wouldn't even consider him. True. So. Yeah. All right. Can at Igloo now. I, I'm back. I got, got so, the answers I was looking for. Yeah, we decided one person you haven't met, and then uh, the two that you have are Barristan, and then I, I gave my vote to the Hound because he beat the Mountain, or else I'd probably take the Mountain just because of his size. But I just feel like Jamie would absolutely beat down on a... If if the hound was like more um notable as a fighter, I feel like it would it would have been like made known or like it would be like like it would have been made more apparent because I think I still I still think he's pretty strong. Like he's a good swordsman, but like if he's Jamie level, you know, yeah. Like in terms of accolades, he's been showing himself. I mean, uh. I mean, I, I don't think he's aware of. Uh, I, th- I think Bronze a sleeper in the, as a contender. He's very resourceful. I don't know if he can one out one up Jamie, but Bronze pretty sick. Bronze would be an interesting, interesting candidate. That's actually something else. Like this is where like since I just got a reminder of Bronze. Um, he Bronze, but like shown up this episode I like portrayed as being like a lot more intelligent than he's like we're initially led to believe he's he's actually like pretty sm- uh smart and has a good handle of things a good handle of people and like he I mean he's he's made some good moves some of them yeah. like are, might be drastic but like he's a, he's a smart guy he's also more well read maybe than uh Tyrion and can pronounce the names better so he he's a sleeper. 
I uh, br- like his br- like I I kind of want to know Braun's ba- background because I think like there's something there. Well, maybe like, one where, day. Maybe one day. One like what 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 he's been up to before <laughs> being in that tavern and linking up w- with Tyrion. Maybe but one yeah. day. Maybe one day. We good? I think so. Good. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any and all of our uploads. If you don't want to wait for our uploads, check out our early access up to four weeks available on our Patreon right now for Game of Thrones. Check that out. There's also full length reactions over there. That link is in the description below, along with the link to join our free discord and links to follow our social medias. And with that, we'll see you next week for episode nine. See you. Yeah.